Well, there's always a special feeling when Hamzat Shemaya makes the walk, whether at welterweight or at middleweight. This man has proven to be a real problem and really has lived up to all the hype and then some dating to his 2020 UFC debut. It's so hard for you to meet expectation, much less exceed it. Right. Hamzat Shemaya has exceeded the expectations set for him when he made his UFC debut. He has been nothing short of a buzzsaw, just going through guys at a rate that not anyone could have expected. What a fantastic fighter we get to watch every time we see Hamzat in the office. And of course, many people harken back to the Gilbert Burns fight in 2022, the consensus fight of that year in which Chimaev was challenged and still rose to the occasion. We'll see how he fares tonight. South Africa is on the world mixed martial arts map, largely courtesy of the elite middleweight, Drakus Duplessis. And he got a lot of respect from his peers after beating Robert Whitaker at UFC 290. You had to look far and wide for any of his fellow fighters to be picking Duplessis going into that fight. And not only did he beat Whitaker, he bludgeoned him and got him out of there by TKO in round two. That laid the foundation for a title fight for Drakus Duplessis. This man is a physical force hardened by his upbringing in South Africa. Excited to see what he can do with the opportunity tonight, DC. We go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Dracos Silva Duplessis. Herb Dean, Ready, our right. referee for this one. Right. Right, one of the best middleweights in the world at present, Drake is Duplessis, prioritizing a fast start tonight as we get underway in round one. Not as though he's been a fighter who historically plays with his food at times, but Duplessis doesn't want to give his opponent any window for optimism or confidence. As such, he felt like his jab would make it for Ryan. Nice double leg, nice finish. And now is where things could get really interesting. Working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Shimaev's got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Early connection with the left from the champ. Now he's going full mount. He continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Shimaev's in half goal. Nicely done. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by Shimaev. shots landing from the top position. All right, so 
he's got the ground and pound game going here. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Back and forth we go. This might be it, though. This cannot happen much longer. He's bridging. Oh, no way. He got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm time. Unbelievable. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. Oh, big shots from the top. Shemaev's in half guard now. It's always offensive. Lands a shot from the bottom. Get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Good work from the top here by Chumayas. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Big right hook there by the champ. And very effective with the ground and pound. Fist here by Hamza Chimaya. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, nice. Nice. Great timing on that double leg. Inside the close guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. Ground and pound by this man. So Hamza Chimaev thus far at his suffocating best. There just are not a lot of welterweights and middleweights that can deal with his physicality on the ground. Well, it just looks like when you're under him and he takes you down that he's just almost smothering. He's one of those big, dense, tough wrestlers that when he gets top position, he makes you pay. That's exactly what he's done today. He has employed his strategy to perfection, and that is why he looks so good. Great shot from the top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, he's got his back. 15 seconds. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Chimaya. Another strike gets through from the top position. Five minutes in the books. Nice job, last round. Take a deep breath and relax. Right, this next round, we want to do the same thing. Let's get this fight back down to the ground, and then we're in your world. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound, as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, ahead. round two. All right, next round is underway. We will see if he can pick up where he left off, particularly when it comes to the ground and pound. That was vicious. I mean, it was vicious. It was vicious. It was shades of... Habib Nurmagomedov yes. versus Michael Johnson. Habib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. Just able to get to a great posture, control the feet, and land every single strike with vicious intent. It's hard to do that without losing your opponent. This young man has mastered. He has mastered. Ground the pound fight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more off. Oh, could get a finish to him. Looks like a darts choke. Tight. There it is. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. All right, this is not where you want to be. You don't want to be.
be on your belly with your opponent on your back flattening you out. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, some high-level grappling here, the takedowns, the ground control. He seemingly has mastered all of the little nuances when it comes to keeping your opponent down. And truly understanding where you want to be. Not many guys can control a full-grown man, a, his opponent, as this young man does. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Shemayev's trying for a submission here. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Good as that as he gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Unable to connect it. Going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice and works out for him. There. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Chimaya. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Chimaya's in half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Chimaya's back in half guard. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. All right, right into side control here, DC. Oh, nice headlock. That Doris is tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Jeff, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. He's back in north-south. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Duplessis back to the side control now. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Well, he's got his back now. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound. Oh, nice transition. Flattens him out now. This could be trouble. He's got to start throwing down. 20 seconds to go. Final seconds here of round two. Three coming up next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, big elbow. Fighters separate from the clinch. Lands the lead right punch. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not to score. It's the double leg. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. All right, side control now. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, Nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change it immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move. Make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish, and then you try and counter. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Back mount now. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Really smart approach by the offensive fighter, badgering that cut. More blood by the men. If head movement wasn't important early, it's very important now because that cut has gotten a lot worse. He's a big shot, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Good, solid strike on the ground. Duplessis and half guard. Oh, right to the mouth. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, he got to the spot. Two plessies in half guard. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, it's tight. Fight IQ on full display there. Recognizing he was losing the sub, elected to keep the dominant position. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Shimaev's right back to the full out here. Oh. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Once he got him cut, he recognized where he needs to be throwing these shots. And once again, he lands right on that cut. Shimaev's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Shimaev's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, another shot gets through. Doctor might have to step in soon. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, man, that was slick. Final seconds of round three. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the Kamura position locked in now. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the...
the schools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you... Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon shaking, DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. All right, he's in a half-guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half-guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Duplessis' cut has really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that watching at home. Looks like you could stick a quarter in there, and I'm not sure how much longer this fight is going to continue. Gotta be careful here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Hamza Chimai. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Duplessis in half guard now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. You need to work. I'll stand this up. Just work. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Now he's got good body position. Yup. Two minutes here to go, round four. Big, big shots landed by him now. Duplessis' cheek is just leaking blood all over the octagon. That gash is absolutely terrible. I might have even caught his jawbone in there. I'm not so sure. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired and that fatigue is warranted. That was Big leg kick. Yeah, it was only a matter of time. You see the referee pausing the action here. They're going to call in the doctor to look at this cut. Might be the beginning of the end here. I mean, blood all over his face. He's been beat up, battered and bruised. He still wants to fight. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be 
option. No surprise there. The ringside position has called an end to the fight. You got to preserve the fighter to fight in the future, and uh, that cut just too big for him to continue through. Here's the buff with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Hamzat Bars Kamayev. Well, we are still digesting this result tonight. I barely got a voice. But we do have a new UFC middleweight champion of the world. I mean, the roof came off of this place when this guy got the win.